Now you have arrived at your destination. Look at this guy. What a jerk. Greetings, salutations. Thanks for joining me for another video. Uh, today we are picking up from my last video where I was in Wilmington, North Carolina, still am actually, and uh, I'm just leaving the uh, exhibit here where they had a Michael Jordan exhibit at the Cape Fear Museum here in Wilmington, North Carolina, and I'm headed to kind of the Chapel Hill, Raleigh, Durham area where I'll be attending uh, well, tonight I'm going to go out to dinner with uh, some family and then tomorrow heading to the University of North Carolina exhibition basketball game. And then later in the week on to watch the Golden State Warriors play the Charlotte Hornets. So lots going on this week, lots of travel. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Today, though, I am uh, getting ready to head from the Cape Fear Museum here over to the local uh, Tesla supercharger probably put in about maybe about 10, 15 minutes charge before taking off for the Raleigh-Durham area. All right, let me show you the screen. All right, so yeah, here at the Cape Fear Museum and I'm gonna just tap that to see all the local superchargers. And there's actually one right there. That's the one we went to last night. Leland, North Carolina, 12 stalls at 250 kilowatt max. And so we're gonna go ahead and click that to go there. We're currently sitting with 44%. I think I had about 49% last night after putting a little bit in after I got into town. And uh, let's see here, it shows, yeah, it shows uh, 10 minutes away and we'll have 40% when we get there. All right, so before we go there, let's go ahead and put in the Durham area. In 500 feet, turn left onto South 10th Street. Yeah, I'm going to remove all charging stops. Okay, so it shows two hours and 29 minutes, 158 miles. Obviously says we'll get there with minus 29%, which wouldn't work. Um, so we need to go put in about 30%. Yeah, so get up to about 75, 80%. Should only take, I don't know, maybe about 15 minutes. All right, let's head over to the Leland, North Carolina Supercharger. like some type of movie set. And a lot of films are uh, created here in North Carolina. at the Leland North Carolina Supercharger. It's here at the Smithfield's Chicken and Barbecue. Now you have arrived at your destination. Well, what a, look at this guy. What a jerk. What an absolute jerk. Now, luckily there are spots open. That's no excuse. Go somewhere else. There's mall parking around here. When you ice like that, there's a special place for you. All right, at 41%, let's go get charged up. All right, let's put in Chapel Hill. What's up, buddy? There's a mower in your car here. Oh, cool, yeah. Charges up, takes about 15, 20 minutes. Seriously? Yeah. That's the way these things look. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty simple. It's just uh, just the screen. Okay. Everything, everything, even like the you know, the airflow and everything is all run through the screen. Okay. Yeah. These things pretty expensive or are they reasonable? Uh, about 60 grand. 60? Yeah. Well, you save on gas. I mean, to fill up or to charge up with one of these is probably like 20 bucks. Yeah. I know my last car was like a Malibu Premier. Mm -hmm. And that was like probably right now, it'd probably be about 60 bucks, you know. Uh, this would probably be better than what you had. Yeah. Okay. Much better. Yeah. All right. Cool, man. It, man. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, gentlemen just wanted to ask a few questions about the Tesla. 
that happens quite often at superchargers. I think everybody knows that uh, it's an all electric world coming up here in the next few years. And uh, people are just interested to learn how it works. I know I was, that's why I ended up getting a Tesla. All right, so to get to the hotel shows it's gonna be two hours and let's see here. Yeah, two hours and 24 minutes, 159 miles. I need another 13% to continue my trip. That won't take that long, but uh, it says 30 minutes. I'm gonna run inside. It's probably gonna be a little less than that, but I'm gonna run inside and grab some food. All right, so real quick before I eat some food, this is the food slash laptop tray. It is foldable. It's pretty sturdy. And just sets right on the uh, console and where the armrest is on the door and just sits there and then you can just take your food. Put that right there, put your soda right up here. It's nice and sturdy and I will show you. You can see right there, just sits right on there then sits right on the middle console and it works on both sides. So if you have two of them, they'll both work great. If you're interested, I will leave a link in the description below. And uh, I think I have a promo code down there as well. All right, let's uh, get back to the adventure. It says we have 14 minutes remaining to continue trip. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and get out of here shortly. All right, got my uh, chicken barbecue sandwich here from Smithfields. Man, I gotta say that is super good. A little bit of spice to it. Don't even have any sauce on it. And it, man, it is fantastic. Smithfields chicken barbecue here in Leland, North Carolina. All right, it says we have enough to continue charging. We're up to 92%. Let's uh, go and hook. All right, well, this is welcome news because prices have gone down. I mean, it was $13.68. All right, let's get on the road and head toward Chapel Hill slash Raleigh Durham. drive update uh just over one hour remaining until we get to the hotel in uh it's the high place durham 46 miles 18 percent when we get there that's actually gone up from about 13 percent when we left so that's good and yeah 51 percent currently right now so i will keep you posted if anything exciting happens otherwise i will see you at the hyatt in durham be here hanging on waiting for your call seems like time as a way all right pulling into the hyatt place here in durham north carolina let's go check in now your destination is on the right In a painted cup, I would pour my love from a cloud above. So bright I can see the lights taking you up and above the blue sky. Days go. Alright, so just checked in and sentry mode unavailable because I'm at 20%, anything 20% or below, and can't turn sentry on. But they do have EV charging. I can see an EV go right there. Although it doesn't usually those aren't free, but we'll see. I'm gonna go up there right now. Yep, it is available. Now, if there's a charge for it, I probably won't do it because I'll just go to Tesla's nearby, but we'll see. All right, let's go take a look. If you go fast charging, CCS, simply plug in to get started. Oh yeah, gotta pay. No reason to, I mean, I can just go to the uh, Tesla supercharger nearby. All right, so as you just saw, that uh, EVgo, it's a charge. I mean, it's a fast charge uh, CCS, so that'd be fine. 
but if I'm gonna pay, there's no reason to you know take out my adapter and and do all that. A Tesla supercharger like five minutes away. So I'll just uh, go there a little bit later. But if you do wanna see uh, me using a CCS adapter, check out this video up here and uh, you can see it in action, see how it works. I actually had the official Tesla CCS adapter uh, a couple months prior to it actually being released here in the US. I got it from the South Korean Tesla store, but uh, it worked great, no problems. And now of course, you, anybody with a Tesla can log into their account on tesla.com and order one there as long as your car is enabled for it. All right, so that's about it. I'm gonna go uh, park in a regular spot. Okay, well, I take that back. There is, there's another EV go here. I'm gonna pull in there. It's a trickle charger, which usually these are free. So let's test it and see. Cause I don't mind leaving my car here for the evening. All right, take two. I'm gonna have to look online on the EVgo or PlugShare app and see if these are free. Otherwise, like I said, I'm just gonna go to Tesla. I'm right here and the Tesla supercharger is right there. It is 3.9 miles away. Not even uh, worth that. So I'm just gonna go over to that one and charge up after I get all my stuff and put in the room. One thing a little annoying about that is that on their website, it shows EV charging. Technically it didn't say free EV charging, but a lot of hotels that, that have that, usually it's like a Tesla adapter or I guess like a J1772 like, th like this, or like the CCS one that we just came from over there. Those are almost always you know, some type of cost. Uh, but these slower uh, J1772s are typically free at a lot of hotels. All right, so we got the Chevy Volt over here, but it's not even charging. It's just sitting at, <laughs> taking up a spot. Although PlugShare says that these uh, are actually broken. So, I don't know. All right, so just got here to the Hyatt in Durham, North Carolina. Actually pretty nice. All right, well, I think I'm gonna relax, watch a little TV and probably sit at the desk and do some editing. Uh, I will catch up with you guys later when I head to dinner. And then tomorrow, I'll be heading to the University of North Carolina Basketball Museum, along with going to the game tomorrow night. So lots going on over the next couple days. And then of course, headed on to Charlotte to go see the Golden State Warriors play. So it's gonna be a fun few days. Thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, and one more thing here, since I just checked into the hotel, uh, one little tip for people that travel a lot, you can now bring your Apple TV with and just plug it in you know, using an HDMI cable right into your hotel TV. You could never do that before because there's a hotel login screen, which wasn't you know capable of doing that on Apple TV. Now it is, it's called I think like captive uh, login and you are able to do that now. And what it does is when you go and choose the Wi-Fi you know, connection, whichever one it is for, let's say it's here you know, at the Hyatt, it'll say Hyatt Hotel. You tap that or click that on the remote and then it'll say, do you want to finish on your iPhone or iPad? And you just say yes, and that's it. And then you just connect using that. I'll show you how to do it here. You gotta go on your remote. Sometimes these hotels, they won't allow you to change the input. All right, well, we actually have hope <laughs> for getting this to work. I noticed that if you go all the way down the channels and you go below channel two, it brings up Google Chromecast. And I did see a Chromecast back here. It was plugged in right over there and then kind of goes in this way. It goes into HDMI port two. So we know HDMI port two works. Let's just unplug that. Well, all right. Let's plug the Apple TV in. See if that works now. Boom, boom. Apple TV. There we go. And that's my Apple TV with everything from home, all my, you know, log into YouTube, things like that. So what we do need to do is go down. We need to go to settings. You're gonna go down here to network, Wi-Fi. Okay, and then it's gonna say connect 
Then you're going to hit continue on your iPhone or iPad, enter any relevant info to log into your hotel Wi-Fi, hit log in, and boom, boom. We're set, you can see Wi-Fi connected to Hyatt Wi-Fi. You saw the screen that you just had to hit a couple you know, prompts and that was it and we're good to go now. So you go to YouTube, there we go. And that's my YouTube. You know, I can go down to subscriptions and you'll see some of the ones that, <laughs> that I watch and that's it. And now you have YouTube, you obviously can do Netflix on your TV, Apple TV, Amazon Prime, YouTube TV. Now with YouTube TV, there might be some geographical restrictions that you might have to worry about. But um, yeah, other than that, you know, HBO, all that stuff. And now you have Apple TV in your hotel room. Now you know. So I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put you on the spot for travel tips. By the way, this is Ian. This is his wife Jackie. <laughs> Are we talking local travel, international travel? International travel. Because you guys just went to Ireland. Yep. Yep. So one thing each for Ireland. Yep. Um, get a vehicle smaller than your comfortable driving wheels. Oh, yeah, you did say that one. Yeah, um, Jackie. I would say for Ireland, give yourself more time than you think at each spot. And how long did you guys go? We went two for weeks? a week. A week. Okay. We only gave, we were at Galway for two days. Yep. And then uh, went like around the southern half and stopped for a day at yep. a couple spots. Um, but I think we wanted to give each spot more time. like. Life in Ireland is a little bit slower, so you want to like get to experience it actually. Yeah. So give yourself more time there. That's what I would do. Yeah, people don't seem like in Europe in general, people don't seem as hung up on like yeah. the rat race with work and everything. It's just kind of like, yeah, you just do your thing and enjoy life. Yeah. Not tip everybody, in, but bigger tip in general, I would say, don't assume that you're gonna have another chance to do it. So just. Yeah. Go for it. So like, when are we going to get to the southern point of Ireland again? Yep. Definitely don't, don't regret to no. Cool. So the next day, I jumped back in the car and headed to the University of North Carolina to visit the North Carolina Basketball Museum. The campus is really beautiful, especially with all of the fall colors. After arriving at the museum, I was in awe of the rich history, including some of the greatest names in the game. Of course, there's a special player that will always stand out, even amongst some of the greatest legends in the game, Michael Jordan. Michael had a dedicated section that showed off memorabilia, like his college letter of intent, and even a gracious and supportive letter from Duke's Coach K, wishing Michael the best of luck on his athletic and academic journey. It also showcased his achievements in the Olympics on Team USA, as well as professionally with the Chicago Bulls. I then attended the game that night and watched UNC blow out a small school as it prepared for the upcoming regular season. All in all, it was a really fun trip. I then jumped back on the road to head up to downtown Charlotte, check into another hotel, and was fortunate enough to watch Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and the rest of the NBA champion Golden State Warriors take on the Charlotte Hornets. Steph even had a chance at the end of regulation to win it, but came up just short. All right, so just got back from the game and unfortunately the Warriors lost in overtime, but still super exciting game. Uh, seats were good and right center court, a little high up, but not too bad. And uh, yeah, still just had a great time. It was fun just traveling through North Carolina and Georgia the last uh, the last week, week and a half. And uh, hopefully you have some more fun trips coming up soon. All right, so that about wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next travel quick tip or review video. Thanks for watching.